how easy it became to fall into that summer. Your silence always a blade you pretended not. You pretended not to know you had. Not to know you had. Your silence always a blade you pretended not to know you had. All the times I thought you meant it. And you know, and you knew you didn't. And you knew you didn't. Who cares if it is all a lie? Who cares if this is someone else's dream? Either way, I have still pulled fresh bread out of the oven to enjoy with my friends. I have still turned the music all the way up and pretended to roll the windows all the way down and I have still allowed myself to believe that this is what would save me from that life. It is all I will ever know and so it has to be enough.
Hey, Dad. Hi, it's me. <laughs> ha, yeah. Yeah, it's, um... Uh, I know, I know. I'm just calling to let you know what's going on with me and, uh... to... to check on how Amaya is doing. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine with me, just... I think, um... I think I might have to stay the summer, or at least until late, late June. Yeah, how how am I supposed to know that? I, I just don't... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, Dad, but... Let's just say June 24th at the earliest. I don't think that's too long. Okay. Dad, put... Yeah, put Amaya on the phone. Dad! Hey! Hey, hey, how's, how's life with, uh, Dad and Wes? <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Yeah, that good, huh? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing fine here. Of course, it's, it's boring, but, uh, that, that can fill you in. So, so, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go get dinner, but I'll let you go, okay? Tell dad and that devil I love them. Bye. Shh. Can you hear that? It's the sound of my heartbeat stopping in its tracks. Sometimes I swear the stop could go on forever. Only it's never stopped like this. Not with this intensity. And I thought that night when the rain poured through the windows and you looked at me as if you were going to rip that heart out and I didn't know how to tell you, I was already halfway out the door and I wasn't interested in taking that heart with me when I... Oh, what the sorry, hell? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm pretty shit at this, sorry. It's fine, I just... Have a great day. What is all this? It's just... I'm just... Don't, stop looking, stop. Don't stop? Just right. Stop touching my shit, okay? I'm just writing. Oh, an author. No, a poet, or a writer, I guess. Well, aren't we proud? What? It was just a, never, never mind. All right, well. My name's Wes. And yours is? Lil. Lela. My name is Lela. Don't you have somewhere to be, or someone else to harass? Mm, nope, just you. What are you even doing on campus? I don't live on campus. I'm finishing up my lease and I don't want to head home early. Plus I got some buddies that I'm hanging out with during the weeks. Well, if you don't mind, I'm... I'm actually working on something, or trying to. And I guess either way, we both have something to work on. Nah, not me. I got my stuff done early. Or at least my zoology classes aren't taking that much effort, you know. No, no. I, I meant with that. With? With your skating. Oh. I'm, I've only been at it for a couple days. Wow, two days and you're already that good? You're hilarious. Okay, so, bye? Yep. Yep. All right. I'll see you around, Lil. Lela. Wes. Shh. Can you hear that? It's the sound of my heartbeat stopping in its tracks.
I went to the woods because I wish to live. I went to the woods because I wish to live. I went to the woods because I wish to live. Because I wish to live deliberately. Oh, cliche push. Who do you? Oh, Jesus Christ. What in God's name are you doing out here? Trying to enjoy some peace, maybe? There is nothing peaceful about this place. You gonna make me walk the whole way? All right. You know, for someone who writes, you don't talk much. No board today? Ah, uh, no. I wasn't making much progress, so I gave it up. Not if you quit. So, are you... What, quitting? Uh, no, sorry, writing. Is that what you're doing out here? Um, you remember the writing thing? I mean, yeah, that was like two days ago. Well, more like seven, but close. Either way. I, I'm not stupid. I remember things. Clearly. And no, not writing out here. Um thinking about stuff. Well, I guess trying to write. Po you said poetry, right? That's what you write? Uh, yeah, I know. Boring stuff. No, no. I actually think it's pretty nice. It uh, speaks a lot, you know? Sure. And yeah, sort of. Uh, I guess it's sort of a mix of like poetry and, well, I don't know what. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I don't like to label it. I just write random stuff that pops into my head. But you try though, right? I don't know what to... I mean, you try to think about stuff to write about, right? I guess. So, what's the goal? Um, not sure. I guess that's sort of my goal, to find a goal. But for now, it's just my writing, um, the trees, and school. I guess. The trees. Okay. What do you even do? Or is sucking at skating your only hobby? I mean, I like hiking and nature. <laughs> the trees. I guess we're alike in that way, huh? Okay, so I guess that's something we have in common. Don't do that. Don't do what? God, Wes, you are so infuriating, you know that? I try, I try. So, what are you doing the rest of this beautiful day? Eh? Well, like I said, I was going to write or something, but I needed some peace and quiet for that, which I'm obviously not going to get, so. Nope. Yeah, so I guess I don't have any plans. Many, many plans. So, do you wanna do something? Something like? I don't know, what do you wanna do? You asked me. Can I... Can I show you a place? Oh god. It's a field. Yep. It's probably my favorite place on campus. I thought you were gonna bring me to a parking lot or... a, a skate park or something, but... This is nice. Again, I'm not really a skater. I think we both know. So what makes you think that I'd be interested in looking at a, a field? I don't know, it's, it's nature. I have you pegged for a field girl. What the fuck is a field girl? It's just a girl who enjoys a good field. <laughs> sure. Yes, actually. Um, what am I supposed to do? But the field? Absorb its nature of being a field. Uh, maybe sit in it. Okay, did you bring a blanket? Do you need a blanket to sit down? Okay, I guess not. You know, I usually do this alone. Usually. Actually, always. All the time. Actually, yeah. Okay, then do it.
just pretend I'm not here. I just can't. I have a lot of work to do right now. I mean, same here. I just thought we could chill here for a bit, can't we? Yeah, but it's it's getting dark and it's late and... I'd give it another, th another 30 minutes. But, okay, I have a lot of shit to do right now, okay? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna keep you here. I just thought I'd give you some inspiration. Did I give you inspiration? Lil, Layla, did this give you inspiration? Have I inspired you? Um, um, I gotta go. Okay, so would you wanna do this again? Or anything? I I don't care. Same time tomorrow? We'll see. My heart is in a glass case. My heart where everyone can see it. I feel vulnerable, but I like it. Maybe I get a bit obsessive or I lose track of time. I'm picturing you read this. I'm picturing his hands and your room and your blue walls and his eyes. I imagine myself circling back to this. I imagine you feeling the same. Shit! Hey, man. Hey, yep. Are you or somebody coming to pick me up? Okay, yep, cool, cool. I'm just staying outside. Hirsch. Yeah. I'm I've got my board, you can't miss me. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yep, see ya. What the hell, Wes? You were supposed to be here like 20 minutes ago. I know, I'm sorry. I got, I got caught up with some shit, I'm sorry. You had time to grab your skateboard, of course. Um. And I know you didn't ride it here. Where were you? I tried calling you like six times and I can't find my fucking notebook. Ah, uh, yeah, well, okay, okay, just calm down. It's okay. Come on, let's, let's go do something fun. I'm sorry I was late, it won't happen again. 
this. Pretty please. Okay, oh my god, jeez. Come on, let's go. We've only got an hour before sunset. Come on. realize you know a lot about me but I don't know a thing about you or about your past at least Layla yes you do and all I know about you is that you're bad at well, a lot of things um, and you know plenty about me you know I write <laughs> yeah but I don't know what about you never let me read obviously your... I'm not who do you think I'm writing about? Really? Oh, don't flatter yourself. It's nothing good, trust me. Okay, well, I still barely know the first thing about you. Fine, then let's start simple. What's the first thing about you? Like, my favorite color or something? Blue. But not like royal or cerulean. Like the sky in the middle of the day kind of blue. What's yours? Maroon, I think. Even though I don't like it in the world. Like as a part of other things and stuff. I like it on its own. What about your favorite number? <laughs> Who has a favorite number? I do. Okay. So? But I asked you first. Just think of one. Whatever comes to mind. Okay. I guess five. Or anything divisible by five, really. Wow. You're an actual nerd. Let's hear yours then. It's 11. Technically, I stole it. It's also my dad's and my brother's and... And your mom's? Yeah. Hers too. You have a brother? Yeah, and a sister too. I'm smack in the middle of the two. Uh, oh, I never told you this, but my brother's name is also Wes. Um, well, Wesley. No kidding. I mean, that's my full name too. I never really thought it was common. I don't think it is. I think my dad just picked it out at random or something. I don't know. I was only eight. So, about your writing. I want to see what gets you so wrapped up in that book all the time. Well, I haven't been writing recently. Um, also, mostly because I can't find my fucking notebook. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll turn up. It better. Literally, my life is in that thing. Okay, then. What's your favorite quote or passage or whatever? Something off the top of your head. I don't know about any memorized or anything, but 
I do have some in here, and there's there's this quote I love from Henry Thoreau. Yeah, this one. Um, one must maintain a little bit of summer, even in the middle of winter. I don't know. I just really like it. No, no, it's good. It's just... Wasn't Thoreau a fake? Like, he lied about whatever he lied about? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I just enjoy the thought. What does that even mean? I mean, it's summer right now anyway, so it's sort of irrelevant. I'm allowed to enjoy quotes all year round, you know? Okay, it's... Never mind. It's nice. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Let's do this again? Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday. I know, but I mean, I'll be free around five-ish. Okay. I'm free too, I guess. So, five? Five it is. Okay. Great. I'm gonna head out now. It's, uh, it's getting dark, so, yeah. I should. Yeah, okay. Handsome. Uh, 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 never mind, I just, uh, I, I can't flirt. Uh -huh. Okay. You. I'll see you tomorrow. At five! Where the fuck is... Hey Wes, it's me. I'm outside of Oak and I've been waiting... Actually, I've been waiting for like an hour and a half. Where are you? I've sent you like a thousand texts and I've been calling you all day and I haven't heard from you. Where are you? Did you die last night or something? Because honestly, at this point, I, you better be dead. Shit. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised. This is so... You're actually here, in the flesh. You know I waited for you too, okay? This isn't my fault. Waited for me how? Oh yeah, that's right, sending me a couple texts the day after at 3 fucking a.m. I'm so stupid, how can I be so stupid? No, I mean, I waited for you to, I don't know, give a shit about me, maybe. What the fuck are you talking about? All this time you acted like I was the most annoying person you'd ever met. Well, I fucking tried. So last Monday, what was that? Me waiting outside for you for hours and the night before that waiting and waiting. Why now, Layla, huh? What made you decide to care about us now? You mean a week ago? Yeah, a fucking week ago. What made you decide to get angry about this now? And after all- Well, I'm sorry if I'm not happy. You, you haven't been very good at this relationship thing. Oh, is that what this is? Wasn't it? Isn't that what you thought? Apparently not. Well, that's how you made it seem and and I gave in and I thought you were waiting for me, so... You took your time and you made me wait. So you did think it was something? Fuck, Layla, of course I did. Or at least I was hoping for it to be something, but you never put any care into it and I just waited around for nothing. Jesus Christ, Wes, I fucking poured everything I had into trying to figure you out, and you didn't make what you wanted very clear. Fucking didn't I, though? I pushed you, yeah. But wasn't that just me being persistent, showing you what I was- No, was it wasn't! Before? Well, I'm done. I don't... I don't give a fuck anymore. No, Wes, I'm not done talking to you. Okay, then. What? 
What? Fucking tell me what you have to say. I'm done. I'm leaving. Bless. Oh, it speaks. You don't get it. You obviously, obviously aren't getting what I'm trying to say. Obviously you're not saying very much. I tried to put the effort in and trying to get to know you, but you just, fuck. You just ghosted me and stopped talking to me because I, I started caring. Oh, please, you never fucking cared. I could tell from the start you didn't give a shit about what I was talking about or what I wanted or anything. Wes, I tried so fucking hard to try, but you didn't give a shit about who I was or what I wanted. You just took and took and fuck, Wes. Mother fuck. I gave up everything for you. I failed a class, I stopped writing, I put my life on hold for you, and you just, you can't do this! Layla, I didn't do any of that to you. None of that is my fault. You're the one who stopped writing and giving a shit about anything other than whatever this was. I'm not the one who fucked up your life. You did that to yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot. You might want this. I read some of it. Got a gift, Layla. Even with the stuff you wrote about me. You are such a fucking asshole. You know that? No wonder you can't come into anything. Well, fuck you. Thank you. 